Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to model this nut using Creo parametric. The nut diamet nominal diameter is 16 mm, width is 16 mm, and we are going to model a triangular pitch with the pitch length is 1.5 mm. Now go to the software, new, click this part and use default template and tick this default template click ok we are going to model our geometry using mm so just choose mm and solid click ok now we just want to create hexagonal nut for hexagonal shape just go to sketch i'm just choosing front plane sketch sketch view for different kind of shapes just click this palette click this polygon now we just want to we can we can see a different side of shapes, shapes here but we want six side hexagon just double click here and click in your workspace okay now just close this now you can move this center point to center point of your axis here this distance is 16 just click ok now just go to fit screen sketch you friend fit screen now the center point not in that just Coincide. Click this point and click here. Just delete. Okay. Now we have made this to center point. Now just click the roller to confirm. Now go to circle. Click this point and click here. Click the roller to confirm. Now specify this diameter is 16. Now just click OK to confirm our model. Now we have made our cross section. Just want to extrude this to the width. Our width also 16. Just go here. Symmetric width is 16. Now just click OK to confirm. Now we have done. Now we just want to make our chamber in this edge. For that Select this plane and sketch, sketch view, references, select these two edge for reference, just close, go to line, so I am going to make this two, ok, now just click ok to confirm now just go to edit now we are going to remove here by using re revolve for that we just want a center line draw this center line also so cross section and center line we have made now just click ok now go to revolve now you can see it, it took automatically then 360 degree material removal click ok to confirm now we have made chamber here the final thing is we just want to make thread inside so using helical sweep up helical sweep so for that first we just want to make a line just select select this one plane sketch sketch view go to reference we want to take for that just choose this one wireframe model reference this this here only we just want to make just close 
again you just go to shaded shading with edge shading only then just sketch view now one more reference is this is and this one just close now go to line click the line here only we just want to make thread so this is the length we just want to make for entry and exit thread just keep some little bit extra length okay now just make this center line also now click ok to confirm now just go to sweep helical sweep now it has taken a pitch of 1.85 but just go to the model our pitch is 1.5 just specify 1.5 now we just want to make cross section of this pitch go to sketch sketch view just make this wire frame then you can understand easily now we just want to make a triangular just select here 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 just go to dimension this is we just want to make one this two are equal sided and this angle is 60 okay this is the way we just want to remove a material I have made a triangle with a 60 degree just click OK to confirm now just go here shading go select this material removal and click OK now here you can see a proper thread we have made in this so this is a way we can make the thread so now we have made not with inner thread uh, Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. And if you want any specific model to uh, for demo, please comment. Thank you for watching.